Today I'm going to teach you how to take a regular piano sound and turn it into this. I'll keep the theory short, but let's just take the standard piano. The attack is short and sharp, and the decay is also very quick, but the release is a bit longer, and so when we flip the sound, we get an interesting result. Let's just play the sound backwards. As you can hear, it starts out quiet, and then builds to a big crescendo. That's nice and all, but it took quite a long time, so why don't we start the sample a bit later and see what happens. Now I'm going to slow it down a bit and actually go step by step about how you can create a sound a bit like the one I played you right at the start. I've just created a new patch inside main stage and loaded up the EXS24 sampler. I'm going to search for a piano that I quite like. Sounds pretty good to me, so we'll crack on with this sound. In fact, this sound is called Piano in 162 and is available freely on the internet. So I'll share the patch once I've done all the reversing. I've just gone inside the edit mode and I'm basically searching for the sample feature inside view. Sometimes this can be a little bit fiddly. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the start point to be at 1000 or 5000 or some value. I actually changed my mind on this later, but I've left it in so you can learn from my sound design process. So now I'm setting some end value for the sample. I'm probably going to pick about 100,000 or so. Or maybe 400,000. The reason I've set about 400,000 and not just gone to the end of the samples is because I want to start at some non-zero volume really, such that we have a usable sound. Now press Command A and select all the samples and just click reverse on all of them. And you can hear, it sounds like a reverse piano and sounds pretty decent actually. So you can hear how we've got that sharpness at the end, which would normally be the attack right at the start of a piano. Make sure you save your EXS24 instrument. I'm going to save it as Ivy Close Demo, just because I've got a few of these on my computer already. And go ahead, and we can crack on. I'm just going to play with the attack and release inside the sampler a little bit. Nothing too exciting. I'm actually going to use the mod wheel to control the filter depth inside the EXS24. So I'm just adjusting that right now quite quickly. Now, I actually made a mistake there and there's something I forgot to bypass. So I need to bypass the pitch. So you go here and press bypass. This is a very common thing that people forget to do sometimes inside the EXS24. Otherwise you'll get a weird vibrato sound when you use the mod wheel. So, now that we've done that, let's crack on. Let's stick some reverb on, because that's going to really help us out. So I've just selected this preset I've got. I'm going to reduce the amount of modulation we've got. And I'm just going to play around a bit, maybe reduce the wetness. But yeah, sounds reasonably good. Remember when I showed you earlier about changing the length of the sample? Well, right now I'm going to do that because I want to make the sound more usable such that it comes in a bit quicker. So let's get on with that. So the best way to do that with reverse sounds is to think backwards. So I've gone back into the edit mode and selected sample. 
What I'm going to do is change the endpoint of all the samples and change it from 400,000 samples to something a bit lower. This will effectively mean that we start out at a higher value in terms of volume and reach our climax a lot faster. And this makes the sound a bit more usable as we don't have to do stuff like compress the sound excessively. I thought it'd be better not to show me just messing around with the numbers, so I just found something I liked. So I'm pretty happy with the sound right now. Always remember to save again, as I've just done. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it sounds. So, we need to add some compression, so let's do that. So, just find Mainstage's stock compressor and add it between the channel EQ and the silver verb. So, I'm just going to try and reduce the dynamic range of the sound a bit. but a bit more tweaking of EQ is probably a good idea too. So I'm also going to add a bit of a stereo delay as well, just to make the sound a bit more spacious. And why not? I mean, these are really just fine tunings at this point, but it's kind of useful to see the whole process. But it's missing something. Maybe we can make it even more ethereal and add something else. Maybe we just add a big shimmery pad. But not that loud, of course. This combination works really well because the pad is a very sustained sound but the reverse piano adds quite a lot of movement in a quite organic way. The reverse piano cuts off in a very slightly weird way though, so I'm just going to try and address that right now. This is just another option though. I'm going to go back into edit one more time. Go into sample and change the sample start point to be at zero. This will mean that we get the full rise of the reverse piano. And of course save one more time. That'll do, so let's go for a demo.